Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. If you did not subscribe yet, guys, go ahead and subscribe. That help the channel tremendously. This video is about this, 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 this controller. They call it solar charge controller. It has been working pretty much every day for the past three years. It works for me. Lately, it's been giving me a hard time. It's getting my panels the wrong way. Okay. Let's go to the batteries. Right now, you tell me my battery is at 58 voltage. This is what I got, guys. My battery is at 54. I got the close to 3.5 volt differences. All the batteries are 54. Every single one of them. Okay. Now, what I wanted to do, make a short video and send it to them. See how can they help me fix it. Okay, this thing has a Bluetooth in it. A Wi-Fi, what you call it. This is what my Wi-Fi look like. Okay, guys. 58. This thing's not 58. Okay. I can't mess with those. If I change something, it will go wacko. Let's put it at 60. Let's see what will happen. For the time being, change this to 60. Okay. It's changing, guys. I change to 60. Let's see if I'm producing. Go back. Okay. Go back, guys. I'm producing amperage. Yeah, I'm producing amperage. You see what happened there? It's reading the voltage. I don't want to keep it at 60 because what about if it stopped working again? You see? It says I put it at 60. What do I have in here? 58.5. I have 54. This is a 4 volt difference, guys. 4 voltage different. I could be twisting to 18 amps. It's not giving me 18 amps. If I had it at 50, at 60, because I increase it, it does work for me. Sometime when I lost power, I turn it back on, he become wacko. This thing become wacko, guys. Now I put everybody at 60. That's the problem there. Okay. How about if you start working no more again, you're gonna overcharge this kind of battery. This battery. This battery can go to 60 though, you can. This can go to 60 too, but I don't want it to be so close like that. I wanna keep my battery at 57. My battery's at 56 right now. 54. I want to do a take capacity test because the capacity that I have there, I started at 54. It gave me this, but this thing can give me more. Okay. So my problem is, so let me show you the BMS. So my body, how my body look like. Let me show you the BMS, guys. Let me turn the light on. Okay. See, I'm, I'm putting five, four amps in there. See what, I'm at three point, I'm at 3.3. That's for this guy. So that's for this guy. 16 S. That's for this guy. Okay. Two point five. This is fine. It's moving well. It's balancing. That's not bad at all. Let me go to this one. I gotta close that, guys. Gonna close that and open another one. Let's go to the pack. It has a BMS on it. This one. Okay, that spin. This thing is messed up. Okay, guys, I got it back. So I'm sharing. I'm about seven. I have 17 amps, so I'm sharing a couple of all, all over the place. I don't have no BMS on this, but I've been monitoring this, okay? The voltage is similar to each other. You see this? This is for the other one. 4.7, for, for, for 54.7. That's for this guy. Okay. 
and the other one is 54 also the top is 54 this thing i don't know how where he got it but he gave me an average all of them combined together at 54.9 okay let's go see it's gonna get grabbed the other one again guys trying to grab these guys all right that's the first one it's coming up okay it's gonna come up it's linked together 54.8 this is get to be 54.9 so it's given average this might be 54 something i don't have a bms but i can check it manually i have my meter here don't know if you guys can see this okay i got two i got one hand i got two hand guys let me see if i can stack one to the other one and touch the other one this is the black wire See this thing can sit there. Okay, it sit there. Okay, I wonder why it sits there. I can go to the top of this one, guys. Sorry. Okay. I got 55. This one says 55. 55.4. You see that, guys? 55.4. That's the meter that I have. Let me see this if I can read this one also. Fifty five point three. Okay, guys, you see the meter fifty five point three. Did I touch something? There we go. So it's around 55, I'm here. It's around 55. Okay. I think the resistance on each of those things make it give a different reading. Now this is my, my problem is guys, is this guy's right there. See, I'm, I'm producing a lot of amp. I'm at 59. I mean, I'm at 50, uh, so 25 amp I'm producing, but she's reading at 59. This thing is about to shut it down. This is make sky blue. My problem is it makes sky blue. It does not read the meter properly. Okay, let's go to the machine itself, see what is reading it. The machine, or I'll hide it, I wasn't the machine. I'm putting 700 watts. I'm at 58.8. Okay. I like keeping my 57, but it's reading it about 3 volt differences. That's what I don't like, guys. I got 3 volt differences between uh, between the machine, between the, the Bluetooth Make Sky Blue. I'm going to send this video to, to Make Sky Blue. Maybe they can help me fix the parameter because I don't think there's one, something wrong with the parameter. Look at this thing. This thing changed. This is not supposed to have a 9 volt. I don't know what the hell is this. This is supposed to say 40. 40. I didn't change that. Okay. You guys see? It's, this thing switched this thing automatically. This is life or, or lifey. Let's change that. See if I got the right reading. I tried all these things already, guys. Okay, you keep the numbers right. You keep the number four, which is four, which is five. Just look, see what it looks like. It up. The sun is down. The sun is down. Well, I'm gonna monitor this guy. So I'm gonna make this video. So this numbers is wrong. This is 54, 58 from the machine. We check with the meter at 55, and then the, the this meter gave me 54, and the machine is around 55. Okay, it's an average 55. So this one is the same type of this one's a lithium iron, and this is a lithium phosphate. I shouldn't have no problem with them. Well, the reading is wrong, so hopefully. 
Miss Kyle Brooklyn give you an answer. Guys, peace out. See you soon.